My friend sent me this photo from her holiday in the South Island of New Zealand. It's a photo of Tauranga Bay on the West Coast. You might feel slightly funny about this photo because maybe you don't know why. The problem is the horizon isn't straight. It tilts down a little bit to the right and the horizon's always straight. That's one of the rules. There's an easy way to fix this kind of photo in iPhoto. I've selected the photo and now I click on the edit button at the bottom in the toolbar at the bottom. This brings the photo into its own window but it's a bit hard to see because it's so small. We can choose view, thumbnails, hide to get rid of the strip at the top. Now we could zoom into the photo and when we do that notice this little navigation window appears and the more we zoom into the photo the more we can see that that horizon's crooked. If you drag around this dark part on the navigation window you can actually move the photo around. I'm going to click the green button to make iPhoto fill the whole screen and now I'm going to use the drag bars in the corner to make it smaller so that I've got room across the bottom of the screen in this video. However, here's my horizon and you can see it clearly tilting down to the right. I want to straighten this photo, so I'll click on straighten in the toolbar at the bottom. This brings up a grid of yellow lines. Now unfortunately none of the lines is actually quite on the horizon. But if I drag this area of the navigation window around, I can change that so that the horizon does exactly line up on one of the lines. And now on the right hand side here you can more clearly see that the horizon's crooked. Now I just slide the slider at the bottom to bring the horizon to horizontal. I know that I need to slide it to the left. And here we are. That's not sure if that's right. I'm just going to move this round again to get it on the yellow line. And that looks not quite right yet. I'll just slide it a little bit further. And that's about right, minus 2.8 degrees. Once I'm done, I click the Done button. And now that actually looks a whole lot better. Have fun and read more about this tip over at the MacTips website, MacTips.info. Mm -hmm.